Nieto in front from first gold in second, Florida Pearl in third on the inside, then Fidelco and Go Ballistic tucked away, best mate, and legal right held up at the back in the hands of John Kavanagh as they take the first down the back straight. Lovely jump by Bacchanel there. First gold on the outside in the J.P. McManus colours this year. Yes, it was the Marquesa de Moratella's red silks 12 months ago. Before ownership changed. Florida Pearl between the front pair. Fidalco in fourth. Then Best Mate in the maroon and light blue striped Aston Villa silks of Jim Lewis. Go Ballistic on the inside and legal right at the next. Bacchanel got a bit close to that one. It was out jumped by first gold on the outside, the 6 to 4 favourite. Best mate at 5 to 2, back an hour 4 to 1 as they take the next. And first gold again, the best of the front trio. And he just shades the advantage from back an hour. And then Florida Pearl in third place. Florida Pearl, second last year, placed in two Cheltenham Gold Cups. He really deserves to win a big one. He's in third there in that red and white jacket. Adrian McGuire coming in for the late the ride at the 11th hour replacing J.P. McNamara. Fidalco is fourth, then best mate and go ballistic and legal right. As they race down the straight, first gold over in front of Bacchanel. It was down this stretch 12 months ago that first gold, gold lit up the crowd here. He was brilliant at the last three fences. Fidalco a slight mistake in fourth place at that. As they head on towards the ninth of the 19 fences, back and now Mick Fitzgerald on the inside of Thierry Dumen on first goal. Follow the pearl is third, then for Danko. Best mate patiently ridden in fifth place by Tony McCoy. Legal right has now demoted Go Ballistic to last. So a circuit to go in the Potemps King George VI chase. And it's back and now that regains the advantage that he held going towards the first fence. He's a length ahead of first gold. Florida Pearl running up against the rail, cutting every corner. And now Florida Pearl heads on into the lead narrowly over Bacchanal as they approach the water jump. Florida Pearl won. Bacchanal and first gold disputing second place. Fidalco on the outside, best mate. Then legal right and go ballistic. This is the 11th. Florida Pearl again landed in front. Cards yet to really be played. Go Ballistic perhaps just struggling at the rear. His stride is shortening as they now go to this open ditch. Florida Pearl dived away to the left slightly there from first goal. Back and now, best mate for Dalco, legal right. Norman Williamson is watching. Which one would you like to be on, Norman? Best mate was just a bit keen early, but he's got him settled down. He's got a great position behind Back and now. Um, a lot of people be surprised to see Florida Pearl, but he's enjoying himself up there in front. And uh, first, first goal is just having a little bit of light, but jumping superbly. Legal right for me doesn't look really happy from the time he jumped off. Um, back and Albert will also be happy with the lead for a little while. We've got seven fences to jump, and it's Florida Pearl on the inside of first goal. The leader still jumping slightly out to his left, with back and Al back on the inside in the pink jacket. Best mate waiting in the wings. Out wide is Fidelco, then legal right and go ballistic is struggling. At the next open ditch, a big jump there by Florida Pearl. A mistake, more a blunder in fact by Bacchanal on the inside in third. As best mate creeps a little bit closer, they go towards the next. Fence number 15 and it's Florida Pearl from first goal. Bacchanal, best mate, is poised to mount his challenge under Tony McCoy. And then legal right and Fidelco, the last in the back straight. Florida Pearl lands two lengths ahead of first goal. Back and now driven along. Best mate appears to be coasting in fourth place, but now the tap is being turned full on as they begin the swing out of the back straight. And it's Florida Pearl on the inside of back and now and first gold, who's now rousted along out wide by Terry Dumen. Best mate creeping forward up the inside. They've got three fences left to jump in the King George. And it's Florida Pearl, second last year. A Bridesmaid on so many occasions. Back and now challenging first goal. Just appears to be struggling now on the outside. They jump three up first goal. Clambered through that. Best mate in third place is now beginning to move forward. But Florida Pearl still going strongly in front. Florida Pearl got in a bit tight over two out. Back and now landed second. Best mate trying to challenge between the pair. They race down towards the final fence. Can Florida Pearl win the King George? He's two lengths clear. Here's best mate challenging under Tony McCoy. Florida Pearl sounds over the last best mate now got a fight on his hooves on the outside florida pearl can he hang on today best mate in second and florida pearl will win the king george and no horse deserves it more best mate in second back and in third 
first goal wilted in the straight.